Well, that's exactly what it is. It's a, it's a compromise. And I think that's the difficulty that many of us are having with it is because you don't like most of it or you don't like all of it or you don't like portions of it. But, it, but you have to weigh that with what's going to happen to the national full faith and credit. Are we going to permit a default? So those are the real issues that we are forced to deal with because it is exactly that, a compromise. So have you decided which way you'll vote on this yet or are you still looking at it? I, I'm still looking at it because every time I read it, I find something else that I may not necessarily like or something that may not be as bad. I think one of the major issues that I'm dealing with is the fact that this this compromise abdicates the decision making into the future to a, a select few of 12. And the question is whether or not you want to do that and what does it mean about why you're elected to be in Congress because it means that you're letting some other people make that decision and you're just voting yes or no on it. And some of these cuts or some of these reductions are, I mean, they're going to have an impact on folks in Hawaii, right? I'm sure there is. But you know, because we don't know, they're, they're really more ca caps. So you can spend up to a point. That's what the issue is. But then, on the other side of it, that's positive is more and more that we get these discussions, we understand the Bush tax cuts, for example, are on the table. And in fact, they will expire uh, January 1st of 2013, which then, of course, helps the revenue situation. And that revenues are also on the table when it comes to the special group, the committee that makes decisions. So there's a little bit of everything in it that, that you may not like, but at the same time, there are other parts of it that may make it worthwhile voting for. Um, and what did you think of the, the process? You know, I know there was a lot of closed-door meetings on this, so you didn't have these details for the last few days and hours. Um, how do you feel about it? Well, I think for myself, and I don't know whether because we're freshmen, you know, we found out as it was breaking on the news, and I think it would be, uh, for all of us serving our constituents, we would have liked to have had better communication as to what was going on. But it's like everything else. Even as it's breaking now, we're beginning to find out what was said in the meetings and what was actually discussed and what do these cuts and proposals within the bill mean. You know, the, the most frustrating part for us is that we don't understand why it's different this time. You know, we went through years and years, 74 I think was the number that I heard as to actual numbers of votes that were done and straight up on the debt ceiling. It was never an issue. And all of a sudden, this time, it becomes an issue. And we have a difficulty in trying to understand why is it an issue? Why Democrats have voted in the past, whether it's President Reagan or President Bush, they voted it straight up in those times. So why is it under President Obama that we're having to deal with it? Especially for someone from Hawaii, President's home state, is why are we dealing with this issue now? Why is it that Republicans have made it an issue just for President Obama?